Hey there, it's your boy Sloppy Ranch Dressin here. Legalize Ranch! We got some good anger burn on the internet today, and I'm not gonna waste time. The title essentially gives you the topic of the video. So, let's just get right into the details. Apparently in the newest DLC for A Hat in Time, they got a little easter egg of some graffiti on the wall that resembles the transgender flag, trans rights flag, I don't know what it's called specifically, but it's supposed to support trans individuals anyways. Now, this is pissing some people off, and there was a ton of backlash on the game's Steam form. I'm not gonna straight up show you guys what people said, I think it'll take too long to read through them all, and it's easier to give you a general perspective of the situation. So, the most popular thing that I'm seeing is that these people aren't happy because they don't want any implication of social and political ideology represented in their games as they use it for escapism. More so because A Hat in Time is also for younger audiences. Then there's those who just don't accept transgender people, and that says enough as to why they don't like it. Pretty sure I don't have to go further on that point. But the hate was so bad that many of the forum posts have been deleted. Hell, people are even demanding for refunds and are leaving bad reviews on the game. Like, they're going all out to tell the developers they're not happy about this. Now that we're done with the recap of what's going on, I'm gonna give my own perspective on this whole dilemma. First off, I kind of get how some people might not want any social or political ideology in their games, but I gotta be honest. If I took a look at that picture and you did not tell me it was this flag that represents trans people, I would have never guessed in a million years. It looks like somebody stepped on gum, ate it, and shat it on the wall. It looks disgusting. It also kind of looks like a mouth. Obviously, kids aren't going to know what it is, and quite frankly, they're not going to care. Because they're going to look at it the same way I did, which makes this whole thing feel overdramatic. I'm not educated on the whole trans stuff. I'm not for it, and I'm not against it. In fact, it's just none of my business, and I don't care to make it so. Possibly someone on the development team is trans and put the flag in as a little representation. It doesn't hinder the game or affect it in any shape or form. Now I know the same argument can be used for the other side, that if this is the case, why have it at all? You're right, I agree, but it's already in the game so why care so much? The only people who have any clue what that ugly smear on the wall is will get it and appreciate it. People like me aren't going to understand it and ignore it as we move on playing the game. It's like you're that guy at the party who didn't watch Star Wars so you don't get that really sick reference of Anakin slaying the younglings in Revenge of the Sith being comparable to how your buddy ate those cupcakes. If you don't like trans people, then fine, you do you, but to go so far out of your way to make it clear by complaining about a stupid, ugly smear on the damn wall? It seems like a big waste of time and kind of pathetic, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm already editing a bunch of other content. I'm just taking so damn long with it because life keeps getting in the way, but I promise I'll be making far more content on this channel, so maybe like the video and subscribe to my channel. I also plan to do more videos on these kind of topics where it's a little controversial. I find it interesting, but I find what other people think far more interesting. So leave a comment down below. Are you for the smear on the wall? Are you against the smear on the wall? Or you're like me and you just don't care about the smear on the wall. Either way, Sloppy Ranch dressing out. Legalize Ranch!